Welcome to my latest project. Cute neighborhood here. Nice looking houses. Affordable housing development. Let's take a look around. Here's a view of the castle. It says the roof was done 13 years ago. Pretty much everything else needs to be done. Well, that's not true. The heater looks okay. The water heater looks pretty new. You can see the house. Got plenty of space here. Comes with a lawn. A little patio here for uh, party time. Here's a shed. This shed is interesting because it's kind of a quiet, people mind their own business neighborhood. Structurally, the shed looks like it's in good shape. And it's got a whole second floor. I'll take you out there. So, you park a car in here. I was thinking it could be a rental. So here's the floor and a little window. I got a couple of uh, ideas that somebody might want to rent this. And now well, you got yourself a, uh, a duplex. Affordable housing is a desired element in this world. See the front porch. Asbestos shingles obviously have to come off. Um, somebody built an expansion on this thing. Obviously, it's going on the deck. It's going to have to be torn out and replaced. Uh, right there, where you see that octagonal window, the roof is uh, falling down inside the house. But uh, it's mostly just sheetrock and stuff. Got some abandoned cars out here and another shed over there. A fire pit. It's kind of like a rock quarry back here. So this house backs up to a quarry, which pretty much means that uh, while the property lines may stop in one place, you probably can do whatever the hell you want out here. So. It's got Bilko doors going into the basement. The roof doesn't look terrible. But they have spent some money on this joint. But we're talking... Yeah. I don't know if the air conditioner works. You can see it over there. I'm going to try and climb through that shit. I'll go around the other side. Uh, the windows are shot. That doesn't look bad. And we got a brick foundation. Gas. And the place is on septic and well water. Let's go around this way. A little enclosed or uh, not enclosed porch. Probably your, uh, your well or your septic, not sure. This is the other side of the house. So we got a roofed in porch here with a with a wall, looks like a nice pad. And let's go inside the house. So we got a rancher. This is the living room. Ceiling looks pretty good, so the roof probably is not leaking. Not a bad size room. I'll turn around to show it to you. The layout of the house ain't bad. We'll go down that hallway in a minute. This is like I guess I would call this the dining room. This room right here. And then we got our kitchen in here. There's a refrigerator to my left. Let's 
ceiling issues over here. I guess the sheetrock just fell down. I'm not positive what the hell happened here, but he says it's not structural. It is not structural. These are the washers and dryers. I don't know if they're going to keep those or what. And that's a door that goes out to the porch that you saw outside. So over here is where you would put in the microwave. So it's like a galley kitchen that we can open us up somehow. All right. So we got three bedrooms. This is our bathroom. It's not a bad size. Commodes over here. Got a window looking out on the woods. Pretty big bathtub in here. It's a, it's a big bathroom. I'd say it's a pretty big bathroom. If you close this door, you can kind of get a feel for how big it is. It's a pretty big room. Could be a could be nice. It's got a little bit of a slope to it. Maybe uh something we can access in the basement. Yes, there's a basement in this house. There's some funky angles there on that wall. That's unusual. A little closet here, homemade closet. This is one of the bedrooms. Bedrooms are not huge. Maybe there was a closet here and somebody took it out. I don't know why they would. Um, yeah, it's gonna need some sheet rocks, gonna need some things, that's for sure. Here's the other bedroom. This one's not too big. I'd say this is the smallest one in the house. It's tiny, but it could be a kid's room. We definitely could get uh, a single bed in here, or maybe even more. And uh, and this is this is the master, I guess. Yeah, this is the master. So you got a closet over there. Uh, this looks like a full size bed. Must be an attic up there. I did not go up there. Got uh, access to talk to people in the other room. And let's go down the basement. All right. These uh, basement steps are very steep. So, what we got down here? Got some uh, pumps. Some, I guess that's a drain line. They put in this new panel box, but it's not hooked up yet. Here's the old one, but it's right there. So, electrical guy could easily transfer that over to there. In here, we got a uh, man cave. Uh, it's all covered in plastic on the ceiling and the walls. And uh, there's a mattress in here, so it could be a fourth bedroom if you wanted to. Underneath the stairs, it actually feels cool in here, and uh, I like that room. This is the basement. We got well water over here. We, uh, you can see the structure of this place is pretty solid. The walls look pretty damn solid. Uh, multiple cinder blocks thick with cinder blocks on the outer walls and also on these inner walls here so it looks like it's the basement and the foundation of the house looks solid if you look at the beams up here there was definitely some sloping upstairs but uh, it looks like it's almost 100% accessible so if there is one that we have to repair, we should be able to do it. So, the Linux heater, I'm not sure it's older, but it still works. The water heater is newer. This is a Bilco door to go outside. So, there's some kind of water filter over there. Hmm. Don't know. Um, uh, all right, I think that covers everything.